Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day four of this juice feast. And I'm tanking. <laughs> I knew this was coming. Uh, with weakened adrenals, we can absolutely expect them to um, really start to uh, show their true level of function, like where they actually lie. And I've known for for a long time that I do have weakened and congested adrenals. Again, always a work in progress. Um, so when we start to really clean out the body, uh, we can see <clears throat> these periods of uh, very low energy, um, feeling worse before you feel better. Again, this is all very normal. So when you start to experience this, along your detox journey, try not to worry too much. It's very, <clears throat> excuse me, very easy for high emotions to set in, um, especially when the adrenals are tanking. Um, it's very, very normal to have an emotional roller coaster. So let's talk about that emotional roller coaster. Um, if you guys already notice, um, I have my beanie on. Guys, I have my PJ top on. I literally just want warmth and comfort right now. Uh, <clears throat> when we talk about a physical detox, we have to talk about the emotional detox that inevitably comes with it. Um, so today was a day of very high emotions and I have been leaning heavily on the yarrow. <clears throat> I used this once shortly after I got to work. I used it again um, <clears throat> shortly before lunch and then I used it a third time whenever I came home from work and uh, <laughs> suffice to say this has helped so much throughout the day to keep my emotions balanced. Um, I stayed at work, I powered through, and uh, you know, after I used the uh, the RO tincture, I was able to refocus and and kind of put my high emotions at arm's length, which was much appreciated for however long it lasted, um, but. Yes, the yarrow has been getting some really great use. Uh, <clears throat> so this emotional detox, it's day four, but this kind of detox, uh, any detox, works on a different time frame for everybody. We all have our own unique lymphatic congestion and genetic weaknesses. And we will all experience our own healing crises on our own time frames. And so we really can't judge our journey off of someone else's journey. When we're starting that physical detox and suddenly this emotional detox sets in and suddenly our greatest fears and paranoias and insecurities are bubbling to the surface and we're feeling so overwhelmed and all we want to do is eat to stifle that down. I really challenge you friends to take a big deep breath. Our bodies have their own awareness and consciousness. And they have become used to our daily routine. And so they have to go through this adjustment period of not having the stimulants that it's used to, of trying to function when it's used to not functioning. If you're used to giving your body two cups of coffee every day, your adrenals are like, hey man, I'm uh, I'm peacing out. I guess I don't have any work to do here. You keep giving me what uh, what I need, so I'm going to keep working. And suddenly you're not giving your body and your adrenals any kind of coffee or salt. And suddenly they're like, hey, um, I thought I thought we weren't doing this. I thought I thought you were giving me everything. I oh hold on oh. That's precisely what's going on. And we have to work with our bodies, give our bodies herbs as needed to help perk up our organs, our glands, encourage them to function on their own. Again, herbs are not addictive. Um, we don't run that risk like we do with other substances. They are simply there to help encourage 
tissue function. Uh, so I do encourage that if you are on your own health journey and you are experiencing your own emotional detox, be really gentle with yourself. If you can, give people close to you a heads up like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going through a healing journey. <clears throat> Some high emotions are coming up for me right now. Either can I get back to you in a day or two, let me get this under control, or, you know, I need a hug. And don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for hugs. Um or literally to call your cousin and talk for a couple hours. And I really appreciate my cousin uh, for doing just that with me tonight. <clears throat> so friends, I want to keep this a bit short tonight because I am exhausted. And my body and my brain are very much asking for rest. And so I want to give them just that. <laughs> Tomorrow, I am excited about some more juices. Um, this evening, we made an amazing blood orange juice. Um, there was an entire bag of blood oranges, um, a couple handfuls of um, baby carrots, <clears throat> A smidge of parsley and when I say a smidge I mean a smidge because that stuff is strong I just wanted a bit of greens for the minerals and that freshness um, without a lot of the taste and then we also had uh, four apples in there my gosh guys it was phenomenal and felt really good <clears throat> because my adrenals have been tanking my body has been craving even more juice today so I'm giving my body more juice I want to stay well hydrated. I want to stay properly fueled. I am pounding in the nutrients. I'm getting in all kinds of amino acids that my body needs to continue creating proteins. Um, I just need to give my body some rest because that's what it's asking for. So friends, honor your bodies, give them what they're asking for, and when they're asking for rest, do that. If you're starting to feel uh, out of control with your emotions, it's probably a good indicator that it's time to go to bed. <laughs> so on that note, guys, I will see you tomorrow. And uh, I hope you're staying juicy on your journeys. Absolutely. If you would like any kind of assistance with your health journey, feel free to send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That is H-O-L dash T-O-X. Dot com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.